This is Alexander, Minnesota chiropractor, Dr. David Butler. In this video, I'd like to tell you about a group of related recent articles based on studies going back to the 1990s, which document the danger of prescription drugs and how drug misuse is growing so rapidly that experts from major universities and the CDC, or the Center for Disease Control in Atlanta, are now accurately calling it an epidemic. Here are some of the more notable, shocking, and perhaps dismal findings. Overdoses involving painkillers are at epidemic levels and now kill more Americans than heroin and cocaine combined, according to the CDC in its publication, Vital Signs, which this one released back in November 2011, and they also report narcotic painkillers such as Opana and the generic oxymorphone, Oxycontin, Methadone, and Vicodin are killing over 40 people every day. Yes, every day in the United States due to overdose. Another study published by a team at the University of Toronto, the research was led by Dr. Dollar, reports that the death rate involving opioid painkillers in the United States rose from 4,041 in 1999 to 14,459 in 2007 and is now more common than deaths from skin cancer, HIV, and alcohol-related liver diseases. The National Survey on Drug Use and Health, a publication from the United States, reported that in 2010, approximately one in every 20 individuals over the age of 12 years old said they used prescription painkillers for non-medical reasons, or what they termed recreational. That's a total of 12 million people. So is it any coincidence that in 2010 in the United States alone, prescribed painkillers were involved in over 16,000 deaths? The DEA, or the Drug Enforcement Agency, says that the sales of these opioid medications to healthcare providers, like doctors and pharmacies, have gone up by over 300% during the last 12 years, which is how these drugs are getting out to the public. Furthermore, the CDC also reports that although opioid painkillers, the drugs on which are called analgesics, are the predominant causes of overdose deaths, they are often used in conjunction with psychiatric prescription medications, like Ativan, which you call lorazepam, Xanax, or Valium, which are often prescribed for anxiety, depression, and are also used as muscle relaxants for simple lower back pain. Dr. Leonard Paluzzi, MD and researcher with the CDC team, comments that unfortunately, as the research is finding of the pharmaceutical related deaths from overdose, 74.3 of these were unintentional, meaning they weren't recreational users. If you'd like to read the articles and the findings from these studies, please follow the link provided. But if you're more interested in health and you'd like to learn more about helping you and your family regain and improve your health and wellness without the use and risks and side effects of drugs and surgeries, just contact Century Chiropractic Center at 320-762-0667. Thanks for watching, and thanks again for all the positive comments and encouragement on these blogs. Until next time, this is Dr. David Butler wishing you good health.